Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius May 30, 2022. It may not be easy to settle on a special activity today, but it's best to aim to rest your mind. Later today, the moon heads into your privacy sector for a stay of over two days, and it's time to digest, process, and decompress. Mercury will turn retrograde early tomorrow, making it a better time to observe than jump into decisions. There can be some fuzziness, confusing directions, or key missing information today and tomorrow. However, the retrograde cycle itself, lasting until May 30 RD, is a good time for looking at past decisions and projects with a new eye. There can be inconveniences and slowdowns that may be blessings in disguise as you turn your attention to problems you didn't know existed. Fortunately, your corrections or edits can ultimately help you tremendously. Is your social life getting in the way of your romantic desires? For instance, whether you're single or already attached, today's sparkling moon in Capricorn will light up your socially conscious 11th house of community affairs, all the while making a direct opposition to Taskmaster Saturn via your lovable 5th house of love, passion, pleasure, and self-expression. Maybe it's a clique preference or something revolving around the status quo, but you're likely feeling torn between two worlds at this time. The irony? With your planetary ruler, Venus, dazzling your relationship sector, you're confident and eager to take the lead. Do what you will. After stepping up and courageously following your dreams during the first quarter moon in Libra, you may feel unexpectedly more introverted now that the moon is in Virgo. It is time to balance your mind. Calm your inner fears, anxieties, and any other worries that your distinctive nature can pick up on. Instead, use the moon in Virgo to focus on your talents that can positively influence your career path. You are likely a highly detailed, restorative professional that would be valued in any work environment. Use these secret talents throughout your workday. The planets are asking you to look at your obsession with success in a different light today. That is, the relationship of your success with the people around you. You may have noticed that you have a tendency to try harder than others, and may have come to the conclusion that you need to rely on yourself to get things done. You may have become a bit short-sighted as a result, so try listening to those around you. They may have something to teach you about the importance of letting go once in a while. A naturally harmonious atmosphere exists between you and your private sphere. You are increasingly at the center of things and are an important person of reference, which could place extra burdens on you. You have an abundance of energy, for yourself, your family and friends and are strong, calm and harmonious, strengthening family bonds. You can be sure that your loved ones will return your support when you need it. People will keep coming back for more, so don't get too comfortable. You'll have a lot of questions coming your way, and you'll answer them all like an advice columnist. You encourage others to be as enthusiastic about life as you are. Your fresh approach, combined with a laid-back attitude is bewitching for potential dates. Be careful when faced with choices, to ask yourself how serious this person's interest is in you. A short flirtation or the start of a more serious relationship. You'll have a lot of physical energy today, and you could be especially eager to get your chores done. You want to concentrate on doing things around the house. A lot of things need your attention as you have left them aside for quite some time. Today is a great day to get these things done and get yourself organized. Or you could motivate your family to help you with some of the items on your list. This creates closeness between you and you'll all be done earlier than expected, leaving room for some fun time together. Fiery and passionate people, like everyone with your number, are most attractive to you today. You should try to canalize your desire for union and being with other people. You will have to master your naturally seductive ways, 7, because otherwise it's easy to get lost in superficial relationships that have no future. Carefully contact the people around you today to figure out who is the special one. They're probably not far away. This might be the sun's last full day in your financial sector, but this is not the last word on your financial situation and money matters. 
With Mercury just three days away from retrograding back in for a double dip visit and Venus, the planet of money returning later next week things are not only still evolving but the best is still to come. This makes the sun's final hours more about having your eyes open and head out of the sand while the solar spotlight is still trained directly onto your financial situation and money matters. With no planetary activity in your communication sector, the moon's visit over the last few days couldn't have been more important. While the moon returns every four weeks and this will always allow the communication lines to flow more smoothly, this comes just as Venus and Jupiter are guiding you into an important new relationship chapter. Our Eyes in the Sky Venus and Mars are aligned in Aquarius, giving us a chance to understand the way we partner and express our innermost sentiments to others. This connection offers us the romantic world if we choose to take it. Rather than make a major declaration of love, the Aquarius energy makes us take a step back and understand our feelings at a deeper level. Perspective is everything here, so you'd better be clear about what you feel when you feel it, because the next few weeks are going to be all-encompassing when it comes to romance. These two planets share a minor aspect with expansive Jupiter, which might accelerate all possibilities and make us feel as though the world is ours to conquer. Slow your roll before making any moves. You don't have to win a race. Love is about building connections and knowing the person on a soul level. Also, Mercury in the nodes of destiny square off, which can give you a push to spread your wings and fly, but only if you are on the right track and prepared to do so. You'll have warm feelings for the people you keep close, and you can enhance your connections today. You'll be feeling sociable, and communication will be very open. Being this in touch with how you feel while also being able to convey it exactly the way you like is a blessing. However, this comes with the countering energy of the Moon-Neptune square making things seem slightly less real. Misperception is very likely at this time, so be careful not to react too seriously to anything, and be aware that you might be more sensitive than usual. The best thing would be to put your energy into creative outlets or some other method of escaping reality. You're sure to at least be resourceful enough to come up with some problem-solving ideas. Time limitations could give you a reality check, but you could be too motivated by possible success to think much about it. At midnight, the moon enters Cancer, ending is void of course which began last night. Over the next two days, the moon transits the sign of its exaltation, amplifying feelings of peace, harmony, and accord. Engage in activities that stimulate your senses and allow you to commune with nature. At this time, comfort takes primacy, which means we may be more stubborn or sluggish in our movements as we linger in each moment, stopping often to smell the roses. Shortly after the moon enters Cancer, it squares Mars and Venus, stimulating our desire complexes in potentially frustrating ways. The heart wants what the heart wants, and it might now seem that what our heart wants has been denied to us. Perhaps this is a matter of unrequited feelings. Perhaps our needs have failed to be met. Perhaps we are simply uncomfortable airing romantic or gushy sentiments. We would love for things to be simple, but the extent of a circumstance's complexity makes for moodiness. We may also act a bit desperate, convinced that hearts can be changed if we simply dig in our heels and refuse to acknowledge another's interest or lack thereof. We must determine whether we are potentially hurting ourselves in our unwillingness to accept anything other than a simple answer.